What's up, y'all? Sorry if my camera's bouncing. Just getting off work. Heading over to Mitchell's place to go get the transmission. He said the bell housing's all welded up and it's good to go. So, we'll pick this up when we get there. Well, y'all, we're pulling up to Mitchell's place. Let me see what he's got going on for us and I'll see if I can get some video for you guys. You guys can see the crack here, all the way to this lip here. Mitchell went in, drilled a hole on either side of the cracks, and then laid his weld down them, and then ground it smooth so we have clutch clearance. This divot you're seeing at the very forefront is their factory. He welded down the edge and ground that flush too. Then we go on the outside of the case, and you can see how he laid the weld over the crack that went all the way through. So we should be clean and clear, and he guarantees it won't break. All right, you guys, so I'm back from Mitchell's with the transmission. We got that welded up. We're going to get started on the shift linkage. We're going to do a torque solution bushing. We're going to do a short shifter from XL Auto Works. Uh, Scott hooked me up with that. I think it's a run. They run like 40 bucks. This is my oldest boy, Nico. He's, I've yet to keep my kids on the channel. Uh, I usually try to keep them off, but he wants to be out in the garage tonight, so here we go. So here's the factory bushing from Mazda. It's a rubber bushing with a metal sleeve. The torque solution bushing is polyurethane. So with the help of my with the help of my son, we're gonna push this sleeve out and then we're going to take these bushings out and put the new bushings in. So let me show you how we do this. It's easy enough a seven year old could do it. Right, Nico? Yes. Alright, so I'm gonna hold a punch to this so my son can hit it. <laughs> Careful. He's gonna drive the he's gonna drive the bushing out of there. Let me get so we can get a view of it. You 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 ever seven years old just do this we got a this is a little tiny hammer he can handle I, I like we'll, to use my favorite tiny hammer all right so we're gonna drive the bushing out right all right Whoa, so the bushing's it, out it pooped up. okay grab the bushing down there buddy I okay hold on to that bushing all right so now we have the bushing out can I just put it here? yeah you guys can see this old bushing. We cut it in half and pushed it out of here. I've got to help my other son, Benjamin. And then we got Killian in there working on the interior. So we cut the bushing down. And next we're going to push the new bushing in. And this is the part that even the kids can do. So we throw that away. So B is driving this bushing in. I only have him doing it because he's little. So he can tap it. And then we're going to put the bolt bushing in there. All right. Is it on? Yeah, you gotta tap that now. My Watch Dad's hands. Like Hold on. This is really hard. Oop. Hold on. Can I bam it? Yep. Go ahead. Hit it. You gonna drive that through? Here is the Exile Auto Works short shifter. To put this in, there's a snap ring right here. You pull the snap ring out and you slide the stock shifter out of the bottom. This rubber boot will slide off the stock shifter. It slides into the hole first. Then we take the, sh the short shifter, slide it back into the hole and we put a snap ring back in to hold it secure. You guys can see how that works. Then the next step we'll be putting Exile Auto Works bushings in here so we can get the linkage mounted up under the vehicle. Um, I'm not going to worry about that just yet actually. I want to get the seals and stuff and other stuff done on the trans. So we'll be doing that shortly. But this linkage is ready to bolt into the vehicle. And I know my garage is a mess y'all. I'm not happy about it but it's how it is with all these parts coming in boxes and I don't have enough room in the can. And that's my little helper. Hey B, say hi. Hi. So I showed you guys with the help of my kids, <laughs> they went to bed, how we do the torque solution bushing install. That went fairly easy. And the next part of this will be the Exile Auto Works 
bushing kit for the shifter mechanism. You've got a short bolt and two longer bolts with bronze bushings or brass bushings. I don't know what they really, I don't, I'm not sure the material, I'll have to look it up. But the two longer bolts go at the transmission side of things. You're going to cut here and here. And you're going to take that bolt out. And then you have one of these that goes in the transmission. Now, I've got a problem. Since the trans is dropped in shipping, part of the damage is to the uh, passage the bolt goes through. So we're going to have to round that back up. But I'll grab my cutting wheel and I'll show you guys how where I cut this. I'm going to try to get that cutting disc right in that gap here with a blade and do it that way too. And then we'll bolt this in. I might paint these arms tonight though. I'm not sure now that I'm looking at it. So that is how we're going to do this section of it. These two longer bolts and this short bolt will go here into the shift linkage. Let me get to cut, get my cutting wheel out, and I'll show you guys what we're dealing with. So that is the pin we cut out. Doesn't look pretty. I had to drill this side out. The head wouldn't push out. I think it's smaller on this end than the other, and that's why it wouldn't push through. So I drilled through it. I used a smaller drill bit, drilled a pilot hole, and then used a step bit till it broke free. And you guys can see that is part of this. Here, hold on guys, my charging cables in the view. So, we'll wipe, the, clean that out. You want to get all that orange stuff out of there. That way you can put your bushings in it. And, I'm going to um, clean this up and see how it looks. I might only paint the part that's bare metal so we don't get any rust on the shift linkage. I really don't feel like painting all these parts, and you're not going to see them anyways that are above the exhaust. While we are waiting on the linkage to clean up and cure up, this is what I'm dealing with. I've got a bent shifter hole for the bolt, and I'm trying to be careful not to damage this or anything in the trans. You guys can tell it's kind of out around. I'm just trying to get this so the bushing will fit in there. And I'm gently, carefully pulling up on it until I get it re-round. So, this was more oval. You can see I've got one side already in. So I just got to work it a little bit more. Pull it up a little bit more and we'll be able to get this bushing in here. This is from UPS dropping the trans. If you guys ever ship a trans, build a box instead of using cardboard. Um... Nothing against Brian, it's not his fault. Is UPS not taking care of things that are marked fragile? So, or find a better shipper, which means more money, which is on me because I'm cheap. So, we'll get this squared away. All right, so I got that as round as I could. It's still a little tight for the bushing. So, something I just tried and has been kind of worked out. I took a rat tail file that's kind of has a spiral fi filing to it and I just used vice grips and I kind of threaded it down until it rounded the hole back out and you just go until it drives itself to where it wants to stop it clearance is just enough metal out to make it round again kind of like a DIY hone so tighten it up run it in and then back it out and go from there the bushing will should fit in after that so take the bushing and it's really and boom we take our other bushing in this side and voila a little DIY hack job just a rat tail file that fit it perfectly with vice grips. Now I'm going to put a bolt in this so we don't lose this. Um, the next step will be axle seals and trans mount on top. And then this should be ready to go in the car. Oh, we got to grease a couple pivot points too. Forgot about that. So let me lay this back down carefully 
and I used vice grips to squeeze this as round as possible initially. Um, try not to beat on it. You don't want to break anything in the trans. These transmissions are really touchy. So let me lay this down. We'll get to the axle seal right here. Replace this one. With, I got some uh, OEM Mazda ones. Uh, and then we've got to tighten up this trans mount. And it should be about ready to go into the car. Um, we're getting there, guys. Slowly but surely. Here's the fresh seal in. And I actually just used the back of my seal driver to drive it in carefully all the way around to get it to sit flush. As you can see, it's clean and clear. So, we're good to go on this end. Now we'll wipe the uh, seal off and we'll seal it up for now and we've got to grease a couple pivot points on the trans shift fork and the throw out bearing and then we'll be able to get that in the vehicle almost there almost in all right we slid the dust boot in the next thing is going to get some grease put some grease on this pivot point here and on the fork edges and then there's a ball in here so it'll pivot on that and I might put a little grease where this goes into the bearing here so this is gonna sit inside like this and it has a couple a clip that holds the ball on so it won't fall off when you go to move it in to the vehicle so let me get some grease and we'll get this going. Alright, so the ball stud has some high temp grease on it, as well as the shift fork. You see, I've got the springs, so I'm going to feed this through here, like so. And then the same token. That, that's popped in. All right, I'll pull this. Oh. That's resting in there where it needs to be. So, I've got to get my throwout bearing. I want to get a little grease just on here where it rides in the bearing, the pilot bearing on the flywheel. Just precautionary. It doesn't hurt to put a little grease there. You guys can also take some grease and put it on these fork ends here. You don't want a lot. You don't want this to, to fling all over the clutch, and that's what I'm trying to avoid. So. Anyways. Okay, I'm just making sure that's in there. So that sits like that. We'll put a little dab of grease on these for the throwout bearing. I'll get the throwout bearing set on there, and I'll show you guys what that looks like, and then this will be ready to go in the vehicle. So the throwout bearing has two little tangs, one top and bottom, that sit and hold on to the um, clutch fork. Sorry guys, getting tired. I put a little grease on the tip here, and this should be ready to go in. i got to get my floor jack set up, or my trans jack, and get ready to get this thing situated. Find all my hardware. And this is where coming labeling your hardware comes in handy. Uh, it'll be easy once I grab the bag that says bell housing bolts and put it right in. Well, you guys, transmission is in. So I don't have the front or rear mount on yet. I've just mounted it to this side here first. I couldn't hold the trans and record at the same time, so let me talk you through it. I lifted the transmission up, got the trans jack underneath it, wiggled it till it lined up flush. I put, we got two bolts lined into it, 
to hold the trans up. And once I knew I could let it go, we ran the bolts all the way in. Then once I had the trans supported with the trans jack and the engine supported with the floor jack, we took the um sorry I blinked out. I'm getting tired y'all. We took the trans mount, bolted it to the trans loosely, and we put the engine mount, rubber mount on the inner fender well. We left those bolts loose till they were bolted to made it together and all our bolts were in and, and, and almost snug. Once we had everything lined up, snug, we snugged them down and called it a day. And you guys can see my shift fork. The clutch uh, clutch slave cylinder will go in there later. Um, it's 1 a.m. here. I'm tapping out. Had a long day with this. Got a lot further than we need to. Um, the next video we should be getting the shift linkage mounted buttoning up all the rest of the bell housing bolts starter and then tackling the underhood wiring getting the battery tray mounted and a few other odds and ends i'm gonna i want to retweak this line and do a couple things differently so with that we're gonna say good night y'all god bless thanks for watching